I want to say just a few words about this meditation. It's adapted from William Baldwin, who called it the ceiling light meditation. Um, and he used it as a way for people to protect themselves from uh, these UBs or negative entities, as he would have called them. I think it's a much more effective way than trying to create some boundary, some wall. Because this meditation is actually good for us, no matter what. And creating walls drains energy. And you all know from your IFS training that protectors tend to attract what they fear the most. And walls do that too. This meditation at first, if you spend a great deal of time on it, one-on-one -on -one with people and talk to them about everything they discover inside their bodies can easily take 20 minutes. But if you practice this meditation, it becomes something you can do in a few minutes or even a breath. So it becomes a tool you can use if and when you feel you want more protection from the energies you're dealing with. The real protection is not being afraid, being in self. And this, um, this meditation can help us with that. <sighs> so this is the meditation I like to encourage clients and therapists to use as a way, as a, as a mode of protecting, as a, as a protecting ourselves from these external energies. So let's, we're starting to go into that familiar path down into our inner worlds. And I'm sure for all of you, it's very familiar by now. Gently taking that path. I think of it as the longest journey any human being ever makes is the 18 inches between their brain and their heart. So let's make that journey down inside ourselves and greet all our parts. Hi, gang. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is for you. And then ask all your parts if they'll give you a little space today. And what we want to do is to get curious about the center. There's usually a little spark of light as we look down inside ourselves, there's a spark of light. Some people experience it as a center of warmth or a life force or some kind of resonance or vibration. But most people in the West seem to experience it as a spark of light. And this spark of light, in many ways, is who we really are. You could consider it an image or representation of self. I want to ask you to focus on the spark of light or warmth or life force or vibration or resonance, whatever you perceive today, deep inside you. And open all your sensory modalities to this center, this spark. And there seems to be a law, a rule of inner physics that as you focus on things, they grow larger. More and more detail is revealed. Focusing on this light, you might start noticing that it has colors and that it moves. Or if it started with 
a vision, an image, you might start feeling it as a sensation in your body and welcoming that sensation and becoming curious about it. Noticing all the details. Does the light have a temperature? Is it a cool blue light or a warm reddish one? I don't know. And noticing its movement as it starts growing and expanding in your body. Now as this light or warmth or resonance grows and grows deep inside of you, we want to notice if there are any obstructions or constrictions or boulders or objects in the way deep inside of us. <clears throat> we don't want to fight them or try and overpower them or anything like that. We want to welcome them and note them and note where they are and notice detail about them. And then as that light or warmth or vibration keeps expanding through all your tissues and organs, notice any of these constricted places with curiosity and hopefully compassion. And if there's some of these places you can't have curiosity about, that's very important. Make an especial note of that. And letting this light, warmth, vibration, resonance expand and expand and expand until it fills your entire body all the way to the skin. Carefully noticing front and back, any places where it's shadowy or doesn't flow easily. Or you might see objects in there very clearly, boulders or things or even people and parts. And you want to note all these and remember them all because they're important trailheads, they're guideposts to work that's, that will be good to come back to in the future. And then when it feels that this life force, light, warmth, energy has gotten all the way to your skin and filled every organ of your body and every cell of every organ of your body, let it go poof and expand beyond your skin, maybe a foot or two, so that it fills the whole space around you, above, below, right, left, front, and back. And notice if you can sense any movements in that space around you, any shadowy beings. I don't know what you'll sense there. Maybe it's all clear and warm and vibrating rhythmically in a synchronized way. I don't know what it'll be like. Notice any turbulence in the waves and rhythm, any syncopations or irregularities. It's really important information. In many ways, this meditation is a way to gather information. <sighs> and when you feel ready, remembering all the things you've been shown, start to come back first into your heart and then up that 18 inches back into your head and your more cognitive functions. And I'm sure you all know this, but many people find a few deep breaths, help them reorient in a sweet and gentle way. <clears throat> 